Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we heard about uh, emotions. We heard about purpose. Now, all of this can only be driven by way of conversation. When I say conversation, a dialogue. A dialogue between two individuals, a dialogue between uh, a bot and a user, a dialogue which can lead to a conversation that has meaningful outcome to it. And then that is how emotions can be driven through it. That is how you know, purpose can be driven out of it. So we are yellow.ai, the world's largest conversational AI platform, the next gen conversational AI platform. And we have been into existence for the last seven years and have been doing some phenomenal work, the clients and the agencies who have given us the opportunity to you know, uh, create chatbots, create automation, create machine learning, create natural language processing, and use all of it to create something which leads to a conversation over various platforms. So I'm going to be talking about each one of them, the way you know, it unfolds with the slides that I'm going to be presenting. We obviously, uh, I would also like to take a cue from certain conversations that happened today about a particular brand, which has uh, obviously has been there into existence for a long time. Thank you, Mr. Suri, for pointing that out and uh, trying to do certain things uh, around that particular brand to help the user over Facebook Messenger by placing a bot on top of it to figure out how is it that they can engage with that particular product and the information that is being, you know, uh, you know, being shared on that particular bot for the users to make the most out of it, get engaged, and, you know, get going in terms of the, uh, the entire agenda of that particular brand. So from moving from there, talking about what yellow.ai is, we erstwhile yellow messenger. So you know, most of the cards that we will exchange, you will see that you know, it's mentioned as yellow messenger. Uh, we are currently in 26 countries and uh, 1,000 plus global enterprises that we work with. We have been creating conversations. So as I mentioned, we have been creating conversations, 4 billion conversations that is happening on our platform on a quarterly basis. And that is being done in 128 plus languages across the globe. For all these 1,000 enterprises that we are working with, 128 languages, so we can create a chatbot on top of WhatsApp in Hindi, in English, in 13 regional languages in India, and across the world, 128 plus languages. Uh, we believe in creating automation which is faster, which is swifter, which can be done ASAP, and doesn't take much of a time. So going live within 48 hours is also a possibility. Now, moving from this particular slide to the slide that we believe in, everybody these days wants everything at a, with a click, right? And that is what we are going to be talking about today. We, uh, it's about going live that I spoke about, right, on WhatsApp or uh, Instagram, and make it absolutely real. Make it, make it in a way where the user feels he's talking, he or she is talking to a warm body on the other side of the bot, and not speaking to a machine. That is how we are driving emotion. That is how you know, we are driving uh, you know, uh, uh, an effort that leads to the user feeling engaged when it comes to talking to the brand is concerned, right? Uh, we obviously can go live in 48 hours because we have templates which we have created for marketing, uh, for retention, for loyalty, for lead generation, all of it that can be put together and you know, we can build these bots with no code and low code with interns working on it. I mean, as easy as that. This is a day in the life of yellow. 
So when you get up in the morning, the toothpaste that you use, the toothpaste that you tell your children to use, uh, to the, to the uh, you know, attire that you use, to the uh, car that you drive, to the flight that you take, to the vitamins that you might be useful for you, to uh, coming to Taj, for that matter. We have done automation for Taj as well. So it's across. So if you look at the names here, you think of it, and we have automated for them. And this could be done on various platforms. So we have, you know, for, let's look at, say, Colgate. We have created something for them on WhatsApp. Let's look at, say, uh, you know, uh, 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 Times of India. We are looking at, you know, doing certain things when it comes to helping their subscribers uh, with their queries when it comes to WhatsApp, when it comes to a PWA bot, when it comes to a website bot, right? So obviously coming together in one platform, making it easy for brands and agencies to leverage upon various platforms when it comes to, so, you know, there are, there are, there are instances where brands have reached out to us saying that we are looking to do automation on Instagram. And there are instances where people have reached out to us saying we want to do automation on WhatsApp. Obviously, the adaptability, the adoption of WhatsApp is predominantly very, very high in India, Southeast Asia. And similarly, Facebook Messenger in US. So we have been automating all of these platforms across. So we had a typical use case where WaveMaker, our friends from WaveMaker, approached us for a particular use case to be done for Bon Vita when it came to mental health of children. So a campaign on Facebook, Facebook a campaign on Instagram, landing on to WhatsApp directly as a landing page rather than the user being taken to a form fill or a website, and then the entire element of interaction being created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over the baton to Hush to speak about the use case in terms of what was done on WhatsApp and show you the exact use case in detail, and then probably we can take it forward from there. Thanks, Amit. I hope I'm audible. Uh, we've seen some amazing case, uh, some amazing discussions today on how brands have been using purpose. Uh, I'll be presenting one such case on Bonvita. Uh, I think there's a slide. I'll, uh, I think there are a few slides to go. That's okay. So you can I'll just go on. So yeah. So uh, children are one third of our population, but they are 100% of our future. Uh, but it should concern us when I tell you that five, about five crore kids every year uh, go through mental health issues. But it's not me who's saying it. Uh, it's the Indian Psychiatry Society. Uh, so it's coming from a credible source. And, and uh, we wouldn't have ever imagined that uh, this is how serious the problem is. And this has become a lot more prominent during lockdown, with kids uh, losing out on a lot of social interaction, being cooped up in their homes throughout the day, uh, and it's sort of impacting their formative years. These years are, uh, they play a vital role in, uh, in carving out the future uh, and the success in life. Uh, it's, it's almost like becoming a mini pandemic, a silent pandemic that almost nobody is talking about. Uh, it, it's, it's, the problem becomes a lot more aggravated when we see that uh, parents are also going through a lot in the same time. Uh, job losses, financial uh, uh, problems, and in some cases, loss of loved ones. A lot of this is sort of indirectly impacting the kids as uh, the, the relation between the, father, the parent and the child and the, the siblings and the, and the child might be souring. So uh, this is the context that uh, we, we've go, uh, all gone through. Some of them, some of us might have witnessed it. Uh, this in, in our personal life, some of it might have, some of us might have seen it happen to someone close to us. Bonvita stands for the Yadi Jitski. Uh, it, it sort of exemplifies the role of uh, of the parent in in making the child uh, achieve success. And uh, so, so when, when we saw uh, what was happening, we had to take a stand. And uh, that's when we, we uh, decided that uh, we needed to do something about it. And uh, we collaborated with an NGO called Minds Foundation to understand 
uh, the, the reasons, the real drivers behind the, uh, the mental uh, health issues that the uh, children are facing. We landed on three insights. The first insight is that the signs of mental illness, mental health problems are often subtle. They are uh, sometimes misattributed, they are sometimes ignored, uh, sometimes uh, the parent might think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a mood shift, sometimes uh, they might see it as tantrums or in, in the worst case they might see it as uh, excuses to get out of studying. Uh, the second insight was that mental health is a, is a taboo topic in India, often uh, uh, hidden, suppressed due to societal pressures or suppressed because they feel they might be ridiculed. The third one was that uh, there's not a lot of uh, uh, access to material, to credible material. There's not a lot of access to uh, professionals that uh, the people can reach out to. So uh, with these insights, we, we were very clear on what we needed to do. The next step for us would have been to land these onto a media strategy. And for each of these insights, we had a specific media task uh, to, to sort of overcome, uh, to, to sort of let people know what the signs of uh, mental health is issues are. We, we needed to tell parents, we need to, to educate parents on how to identify the, the mental health issues. The second one was that uh, overcoming the taboo. Uh, and, and for this, we needed to normalize conversations around mental health. The third one, uh, coming to lack of access, it was very simple. We just needed to make sure credible uh, content is, is, is out there and we are enabling access to professional medical help. So the next step would have been, as, as goes with any media campaign, identify touch points, how are you going to land your media strategy. And, and we, we did look at a lot of traditional media solutions. Mind you, some of these are not really traditional, some of them are new age, but these would have been the go-to options for our campaign. Uh, but, but with each of these touch points, we were facing some issue or the other. With influencers, uh, the, the issue was that the, the lifespan of, of the post is limited. You, you can't really build a long-term campaign using influencers only. And again, because it's on social, there's still the taboo element that comes in. And so, it, so the, because it's, uh, when, when an influencer posts something, it's possible that it's, uh, it's going to be ridiculed by a certain section of people. Twitter is, is, would have been an a, amazing platform because it allows for two-way conversation, but again, it's not really a lot of scale and Again, same problems as influencers, there's a risk of uh, mental health being ridiculed. Talk shows would have been a great, uh, great touch point, but again, it lacks scale. And uh, there's an inability to personalize content for each viewer. Helplines would have been a great option too, but it's expensive to manage, to set up and manage uh, a helpline that's going to help millions of, uh, millions of households. Uh, so that's when we decided to work with tech. And that's where we decided to build the chatbot along with Yellow Messenger, uh, Yellow AI, pardon me. And uh, what this helped us do was create a two-way conversation with the parents. Uh, we had around 450 million plus users on WhatsApp, so scale isn't an issue when you're working with WhatsApp. Uh, the, the important thing was that we, are, we were working in a controlled environment. Uh, because it was a direct conversation between a parent and the bot. There's, there's no ridicule coming in from outsiders, from onlookers. It's cost effective. You don't need to spend a lot of money to talk to millions of people. And the, the big point was that it was seamlessly integrated with the rest of the campaign. Uh, when, we, when we were working with individual touch points, the, the issue is that the consumer journey is not seamless. You might come in at a certain point of the campaign, miss a certain part of the campaign, and again interact again with, with the way we were building the chatbot, the entire journey was, uh, was carried out on the bot itself. Uh, so with this, we launched the Get the Message campaign. Uh, this was launched on Children's Day in 2021. And, uh, and uh, uh, it, it's basically a, a media campaign landing onto the chatbot. Let me uh, play you an AV to bring this to life. Okay, so before that, so basically the campaign was about, uh, we, we had uh, video creators where the, uh, where the kid was speaking, uh, was having an interaction with the parent, and midway through the interaction, uh, the, the kid started talking to the viewer. They broke the fourth wall, directly started talking to the viewer, and to continue the conversation, uh, you had to go onto the chatbot. 
the, the way the chatbot, chatbot worked was that uh, once we landed it, landed on the bot, the parents would be educated. Now, the, the first point was that, the point to realize that, that uh, each one of us are at different maturity levels when we, when we talk about mental health. Uh, it's, it's important to identify that first before having a conversation and, and uh, working with uh, Yellow AI, we were, we were able to build it into our flow. And that was one of the first questions that we used to ask. What's your comfort level? Uh, we used, uh, after answering the search, certain set of questions, we could understand what's the, uh, what's the awareness level and accordingly the next part of the flow would be customized. And then we would leave uh, them with, uh, with some information on how to battle it and uh, eventually give them some access, give, give them access to some credible uh, help. Uh, I'll play you a, uh, I'll play you an AV to bring this campaign to life. There's no audio. Can you have audio, please? Can we have the audio, please, on the, yeah, thank you. The past couple of years have seen the rise of a silent pandemic not many are aware of. The pandemic of mental health struggles that brought a stop to the lives of children when they were locked indoors. The ongoing stress, grief, and uncertainty created by the COVID-19 pandemic has weighed heavily on our children and teens, and many are having a tough time coping emotionally. And this might be a sign that they need a little bit more support during this difficult time. Bunvita wanted to partner parents to help them understand this subject. Presenting Get the Message in association with Minds Foundation. We made two films which showed how easy it could be for parents to miss the symptoms. Sabha, khana waise ka waise hi pada hai. Bhook nahi hai. Bas tum se yehi natak chal raha hai. Dekho, ye sab tantrum sahi chalenge, okay? The reality that kids find it difficult to talk to parents was weaved into the films in an unexpected manner. When midway through the film, the kids spoke to the viewer directly, asking for permission to chat with them on WhatsApp via a bot. Papa ko bata ke टेंशन what can be done and even gave access to mental health experts and psychologists on manketayari.in it's time we started paying closer attention to our children's mental health starting this children's day let's get the message visit manketayari.in Have some amazing results to show. We have about uh, 1.5 million people who have interacted uh, with this bot, uh, and the best part is that these feed back into our FPT database, and we can retarget them on on Facebook, on Google, and through our CRM initiative. Uh, I think uh, just this one part, uh, I'd like to close with us. Uh, for for an FMTG brand, you need to have scale, and and having a conversation uh, on mental health. Uh, when we, when we started working with the LOAI, uh, that's what we managed to get. And, and 
uh, this is uh, this is an ongoing initiative, and, and I hope you will uh, find the chance to experience this. Back to you, Amit.